Biden considers imploring 14th Amendment to circumvent defaulting, McConnell cautions against it. President Joe Biden profess he has contemplated invoking the 14th Amendment to labor round the debt ceiling and to prevent a national default deprived of accomplishment from Congress but conveyed distress about attracting lawsuit that could extend the precarious plan. I have been considering the 14th Amendment, Biden narrated to journalists on Tuesday after a summit with high-ranking congressional frontrunners from the Republicans and Democrats unsuccessful to generate a development in the debt ceiling argument. Biden added, the problem is it would have to be litigated. And in the meantime, without an extension, it would still end up in the same place. Why is the 14th Amendment under conversation? Some statutory specialists debate the debt ceiling, which pitches a limit on the sum the U.S. can borrow, breaches the 14th Amendment, which declares in section for the validity of the public debt of the United States, authorized by law, including debts incurred for payment of pensions and bounties for services in suppressing insurrection or rebellion, shall not be questioned. Instead of looking for congressional endorsement to increase the debt threshold, concurring to the system, the Biden government could confront the legitimacy of the debt perimeter by having the Treasury remain to produce new debt to achieve its fiscal responsibilities. Biden attributed to the view of Lawrence Tribe, Professor Emeritus at Harvard Law School and Statutory Decree Academia, who has come about to the 14th Amendment model after cancelling it out in 2011 when President Barack Obama confronted the threat of defaulting. Tribe, in a New York Times op-ed Sunday, wrote and I quote the question isn't whether the president has the authority to tear up the federal debt limit statute. The right question is whether Congress minus after passing the spending bills that created these debts in the first place minus can invoke an arbitrary dollar limit to force the president and his administration to do its bidding. He contends the answer is no. McConnell cautions Biden against unconstitutionally acting exclusive of Congress. Senate Majority Boss McConnell forewarned Biden against chasing the 14th Amendment policy in comments Wednesday on the Senate floor. President Biden's refusal to compromise is really not an option when you have a divided government, McConnell said. Unconstitutionally acting without Congress is also not an option. An Oval Office conference amongst Biden, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Senate Majority Chuck Schumer, Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries and McConnell was unsuccessful to repair the disparities in debt ceiling consultations. The U.S. faces an ultimatum on June 1 for a possible default when the Biden administration is projected to run out of cash to defray its commitments. But Republicans stay devoted to expenditure reductions as measure of increasing the debt ceiling while Biden and Democrats debate the debt ceiling must be extended without circumstances. Look, I'm not going to negotiate with myself. That's what we passed. I really don't think it's draconian if we spend the amount of money we spent five months ago. And if you put it in a historical perspective. Though. So when presidents propose their budgets, they go out 10 years, right? So the last budget that then Obama and Biden proposed, and you look just a number of years out, which would be this year, what we go back to in 2022 would be higher than what they would be spending now. So I think that's a pretty good, because they proposed spending less, thinking that would be enough. So, I don't know, maybe he wants to negotiate lower. I can do that, too. Mr. Speaker. Yeah. Uh, you said you didn't hear anything new. Mr. President, Mr. President. if you do, uh, you said you're certain you're not going, you're not going, there won't be default. Um, are you willing to take unilateral action, like a book in the 14th Amendment, to make sure it doesn't happen? Well, uh, the question, I have been considering the 14th Amendment, and a man I have enormous respect for, Larry Tribe, who advised me for a long time, thinks that it would be legitimate. But the problem is it would have to be litigated. And in the meantime, without an extension, it would still end up in the same place. I'll be very blunt with you. When we get by this, I'm thinking about taking a look at months down the road as to see whether what the court would say about whether or not the, uh, it does work. Yes, sir. Do you have time to get a deal and get it through before the deadline of as early as January 1st and Secretary Yellen has sworn to vote? Oh, I know we have the time. I mean, we could do it easily if they, if, what do we have the will? And you mentioned the 14th, sir. There's other proposals like prioritization of payments and uh, minting the coin. Can you speak to whether either of those have been studied by your staff? No, I can't because I don't think anybody studied the minting of the coin issue. Uh, but there have been discussions about whether or not the 14th Amendment can be invoked. Is that the most likely unilateral executive yeah, path, worst case scenario? I, 
I don't, I don't think that solves our problem now. I think that only solves your problem if once the court has ruled that it does apply for future endeavors.